Hey everybody, this is WMDSF Magazine. We're sitting here with the beautiful Devin Rose. Say hi. Hey, what's good? <laughs> We're going to be talking about The Real. She's an upcoming artist. You got to get to know her and check it out. So where are you originally from? I was born in Mount Vernon, New York, and um, then I moved to Harlem, mm -hmm. and then now I'm in CT, but I'm a New York girl all day, every day. All day, every day. Yeah, Once you're a New York girl, you a New York girl for life, right? Yep. Yep. Marked in brand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can't go back. <laughs> once you go back, once you, well, I forget that. I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm, 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 next question. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get to becoming a singer? Um, I've been singing since I was little. I started off like singing um, to Whitney Houston to my family, and then eventually, like, I started um, performing for them. And then I would listen to. I got my first introduction to hip hop listening to Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm -hmm. So I basically started, and then I also started in the choir. Mm -hmm. So singing for my family, starting the choir, and then I got sort. I started learning more about artists, and my first introduction to like hip hop itself was Bone Thugs and Harmony. We got a love on Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. Change that was the word. 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 That was my favorite song. Change First the of the month. We got to sing. Come on. Word. Word. <laughs> word. <laughs> and you know what's funny? I could never understand. Like, I used to say, stay there with the tape player and rewind you and too. try to get the lyrics. You did yeah. that. And I write the whole thing down. Like, I love them so oh, much. Oh, yes. Like, they were yeah. a good group. Awesome what about group. Biggie and what about Tupac? Are you I fan? love Biggie and Tupac. Oh, I'm always been a fan, especially when I, I got introduced to them late. I'm not going to front. Mm -hmm. But always been fans of them. Like, they're, I feel like if they were, if they were still here, hmm, I, I wonder know. the competition would be crazy. It would be right fierce. Now. Crazy. I don't know how big certain people like Jay Z would be without them. I know. Because he, he Big's was. Big's flow yeah. was sick. Like, sick. I, mm -hmm. You can't even, like, really, like, there's just one word, dope, sick, whatever mm -hmm. one word that, that means fly was him. And then Tupac just had the sound. Like, yeah. I love all his. My favorite record is, I guess. This might be embarrassing because I don't know the name of it. Is it Mama? Mama, Dear Mama? Dear Mama. Oh, it's my song. So, that's let me see. So, yeah, my favorite record from Tupac was um, Dear Mama. And mm -hmm. that song, I could listen to it all day, every day. So, yeah, those were two powerful artists. And unfortunately, that's crazy. Why the two hottest right. artists? It was, it was a plot. I mean, not died, but whatever they were, happened. They were plot. That's that crazy. Crazy. I think. That's crazy. That just doesn't happen. Like, you exactly. know what I mean? Like, how coincidental. But exactly. So, what do you think? What has been your inspiration, um, musically and in general? Um, my inspiration, I guess, what inspires me musically, like artists like, of course, Whitney Houston, Cyndi Lauper. Like, I grew up listening to a lot mm -hmm. of Z100 and KT. So, those type of artists um, inspired me, like, on a pop level mm -hmm. and. Um, of course, Bone Thugs and Harmony, like I said, Denise Williams, Minnie Riperton mm -hmm. really inspired me. Yeah. Even um, Roberta Flack, like oh, I those that. artists I learned while I was doing vocal lessons and they have such powerful voices and they really helped bring my vocals out. Mm -hmm. So I basically took what I learned from them and made it my own sound. Okay. Yeah. So what, what um, if people wanted to say, what kind of music would you explain to your fans is your genre of music? How do you express yourself best? I, my favorite, like, when people say R&B, I kind of, like, shy away from it because, mm -hmm. like, I don't like R&B too much because it, it brings me into this place, like, this sad place, mm -hmm. and I don't like to, like, be emotional, mm -hmm. so I don't care for R&B too much. Pop and hip-hop is me all day. But R&B could be love-making music, girl. I know, but I'm just, like, unless I'm in love, mm -hmm. I don't really like to write about it. Okay. If I do write about it, it's about hurt, and I don't like to be hurt or emotional, so I kind of try to stay away from it. See, that's going to be one of the questions I'm going to ask you in the hot seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, what do you have planned coming up for you? Right now, I'm still, I'm actually going to be working on my first LP. Like, I've only done EPs, mm -hmm. which are like five to six song EPs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work on my first LP, which is a full length. I'll probably do ten records, mm -hmm. ten straight joint, you know, different genres. I might have alternative pop, hip hop, a little bar and b maybe one or two records. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then I'm also doing a documentary because I really mm -hmm. want my fans to know, like, what the hell I went through. And right. This is not a game. Like, anybody who's gotten to a certain level knows how hard it is. Like, right. it's true. 
Tell us a little bit about what you said. Like, I mean, just the struggle, like, going through, like, when I talk about my music, like, that shit makes me cry, like, mm. because I know that it's, you know, you work day in and day out. Mm -hmm. You submit to people, people ignore you, people right. say no, you get no a lot, and out of every ten no's, I'll get a yes, or something like that, and that shit is, that it's, it hurts, and it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it could bring you down, but then anytime somebody said no, you know, I'll be mad for like 10 minutes and then I'll turn around and be like, you know what, whatever, let me go harder, let right. me hit this person up, and then I'll get a yes. Right. But just just the, the, the daily grind and doing it dolo, it's it's stressful and it's, um, you know, it's scary. Year after year, you see the Grammys, year mm -hmm. after year, you see the BT, you want to be up there. Exactly. And then you know you busting your ass and then you see other artists that are just whoop, 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 mm. and you're like, what the hell am I doing wrong? So a lot of that kind of like, Oh, you have to deal with all of that. Like, right. you know. I think timing is everything. So yeah. everything happens in its time. And I think that you're going to be hit hard soon. Right. And somebody's been looking at you like, how did she get there that fast? I want to know what. Right. But they don't see the backstory. They, didn't, they don't know what the hell exactly. I went through. And it was literally blood, sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. Like, literally blood, sweat, and tears. Like, I would cry myself to sleep. Sometimes I wouldn't even, like, even, even, it could be even now. Like, I would just go to sleep and just keep thinking about, like, dude, I'm waiting on my moment. I, it might be seen. I, people might think I have my moment mm -hmm. now. But to me, I have so much more to do. Right. So how, what's the hardest part about being an indie? Um, like having, you know, enough money mm -hmm. to be able to, because everything, it don't matter how talented you are, mm -hmm. there are thousands and millions of artists out there, and if you don't have that budget behind you, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard. Right. Yeah, and I learned that. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes they say don't quit your day job, mm -hmm. because you need to have that money to be able to pay for certain things. And, like, there are so many talented musicians out there, but it's just... Who has you know that money to take them to that next level? Well, you were lucky enough to have two sponsors. Yeah, right. thankfully, you know, I've had you know I worked with Frostfire, who you know got me a whole a bunch of fans, and then we more recently Hulk Share, like, and they're like huge to see me, like, yo, <laughs> it's just like I don't even like when I look at because they just released their new website mm -hmm. and they got me up there and they say Devin Rose sponsored. I look at it like, is that really me? Like, why? And then when you get to a certain place, you're like, why me? But then it's like dude I did work bust my ass right. you know and so work so hard work. right mm -hmm. so but I'm really humbled I I never feel like oh I never act like oh you know act like whatever mm -hmm. but I'm just really humbled by every step every step really like humbles me even more and more even just my fans exactly yeah like people say some crazy stuff to me every day I'm like oh my god like why you just gotta tune it out no, no, no. I mean, oh, you mean like pot, like people saying, "Oh my God, I, you're inspiring." Oh, and stuff like I that. thought yeah, you but the negative stuff. I was I, say, I'm so used right to that out. negative stuff. Right. I'm like that. I just like just whatever. Don't. Yeah, I'm like whatever. <laughs> Hi, hater. Hi, hater. That's exactly <laughs> what it says. Hi, hater. That's all. I don't. Yes. I don't get bothered by stuff yes. like that. You can't yeah. let it get to you in this I industry, don't. right? So I know you recently told me that you had a breakup with your manager. Yeah. So what was that whole thing about? Well, long story short, I mean, I'm going to put that mm. bad thing out there. <laughs> you don't matter anyway. Right. <laughs> but long story short, you know, I was, you know, young. I was even younger when I met him. Mm -hmm. And just being naive and not thinking that this person can hurt you. Mm -hmm. And then just ignoring the obvious signs. And I did that for the longest. And finally I said, you know, after one last incident, I said, you know what, I'm done. And, um, you know... For the for four years that I was with him, it was like it was a good four years because he artist developed me and and showed me a lot of things and gave me the ropes. But it was that same person that's showing me stuff mm -hmm. that is fucking me over, right. you know. Back then. So right. So at the same time, I was just like, you know, we ended up splitting ways. And um, when I look back, I was like, wow, you know, it was the worst four years of my life. And um, I felt like if we did split ways, I wouldn't be able to be, you know continue and right. I would feel like like a divorce like you feel like empty or you feel like you can't do this on your own but I I got over it and I feel like I'm stronger now I'm a stronger mm -hmm. person I don't need nobody I got myself as long as I want this I'm good because right. nobody's gonna want it more than exactly. I do exactly and that's what's important you're your own driving force right exactly like the only the people that inspire me are people who support me and my fans like mm -hmm. I don't get support from like family and stuff like that I just push myself every single day because I know I want this for right. you know? that's what's most important so do your family not, do they not want you to be in the industry? Is that well, they do, but I feel like they're so, like, um, like stuck onto the corporate world. Mm -hmm. Like, so they're, they're, that's, they're, like, for example, in my song, Want It All, I said, um, you know, you don't want to be a product of society where they say you're supposed to go to school and work a nine to five for the rest of your life. So that's what they're, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's their mentality. Me, I 
the corp while the corporate is cool that's what's getting paid i that's not what i want to do you know what i mean like music yeah. is what i want to do so they support the going to college and and get a nine to five mm. that's why they don't really understand why i'm doing this music or really whatever but me i'm not that corporate life is not me I it'll never be me you know? right. so that brings us to the hot seat portion of this interview <laughs> we're gonna get to the down and dirty and ask you the real questions Uh-oh. that people want to know. <clears throat> Is this rated R? Oh my God. We won't take it too R. Okay. We'll keep it a little bit. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll start off with an easy one. So, Devin Rose, is that your stage name yeah. or is that the real name? That's my stage name, okay. Devin Rose, yeah. And the real government is? Tanya Dormazel. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, is that where Tanya T6 came yeah, from? Yeah, at first, people used to call me... Um, T, it's T for Tani and six for six pack because I always had a six pack. Uh, so they used girl, to, <laughs> they, who wants they to see the six pack? <laughs> we in the hot seat, girl. We in the hot seat. Hold on. <laughs> so yeah, they used to call me that, and then mm-hmm. um, Dame. They used to call me Tanya, aka the six pack girl. Mm-hmm. And then my producer, one day we were doing a song. His name is Dame Grease. Mm-hmm. We we're doing a song, and I came in the studio, and he had said T six in it, so I just went with the name T six. It was like a shortened version. I like that name. Yeah. What made you change it? Because, I mean, people, anytime I said Tiny T6, it just didn't register with mm. people. People thought I was a rapper, although I do rap a little bit, okay. but it, they either thought I was a robot or that I Can rapped. Can we get some lyrics? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> you call it Paris? I'll no. put it on the spot. Come on. You, you call hear? it Paris? No, c'est Paris. Prefer la confiance à de kaki. Mais la di, connu ta ta di. Bon la vie, New York de Paris. Uh. I'm a bad, bad bitch. French what? girl. Use a sideline hoe. Bench hey. girl. <laughs> no, it's going to get too big. No, I can't do too much. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it was all uh, French, but whatever. Yes, I good girl. <laughs> I like that. So, I like that. Yeah, so that... Well, I forgot what was it. Wait, do you have that on the EP? <laughs> that was actually a song called Pay Me on my last okay. project spon- uh, that was sponsored by uh, Frostwire. So it's called Pay Me. This is a whole... This On this um, EP I mm-hmm. rapped to is a song called Trouble I Rapped In or whatever. So, yes, I like that I song. dabble here. Yes, there. she's multi-talented. <laughs> You're not listening to nothing when it comes to this girl. All right, so we're going to go on to the next one. <clears throat> You can't look at my questions. <laughs> She's trying I'm to like me, girl. She can't me. All right. <laughs> I'm blind anyway. I feel, what the hell I'm legally, I feel like I'm legally blind. <laughs> How has your career affected your love life? Mm, I swear every Valentine's Day I'm always single <laughs> because I feel like I never like I'm so focused I'm like anytime somebody does get close to me I like back off and mm. I disappear mm-hmm. so I have that problem so I, I've been I feel like I've always been single like I feel like I'm always single I haven't dated like even dated really mm-hmm. so have you ever been in love I have, and those being in love, like, fuck me over. Wow. You know, like, every time I got, I've only been in two real relationships, and they mm-hmm. were long, like, um, one was five years, one was three years, mm-hmm. but they both all both cheated, so it's They like, all cheated? Yeah, even y'all. dudes that I talk that to, disgusting. like, they just cheat. Like, it's, I mean, it seems like it happens to every, I don't know one girl who hasn't been cheated on. That's true. So yeah, I mean, I write about the song. So if y'all heard, if you, if you heard a, a song about a dude, yes. you know it's you. <laughs> you know who we're talking about. You know yeah. it's you. We yeah. know. So, how do you think that has affected your writing? Have you you think that you came at your your songs a little bit hard hitting on love because of the fact that you might have got burnt? Yeah, that's why I don't. One, that's why I don't like to do R and B too much because mm-hmm. I feel like it takes me to that place, the place where I want to be in love. But it seems like it's always something, you know. Guys can never be, you know, be serious about mm-hmm. anything. And then, like, yeah, it's a really touchy subject. And then when I do write about, it, I start bawling out, crying, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So yeah, it definitely being in those, you know, those situations definitely helped me write, you know, really strong lyrics and strong situations. So yeah. So I know about the song, um, Fuck Me. Hi. <laughs> what inspired that song? I have well, to know. And that white guy was hot. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, shouts to Tony, Tony. Ow. Um, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> that song is basically like, you ever just been, let's say, because I was in a club one time, mm-hmm. and, you know, I hang around the same people. I would have, like, um, like a whole crew or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it would always be that one person that I don't know mm-hmm. from a whole in the wall mm-hmm. and you just you know you, you in your moment you had a little sip of something mm. and your head is like you know whatever and then you just like 
you find yourself staring at this person just mesmerized by this person by the way his jeans are like dude's gotta wear jeans a certain yes. way like that shit that yes. that's a turn on when Not a guy wears his ass. Yes, uh -huh. no, but it fits right around. Yes. Just like how guys like when girls wear jeans mm -hmm. and they love to look. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. If your jeans don't fit right, yes. I'm, I don't know what to tell you. Can you please tell the brothers out there? <laughs> yes. Your we jeans, see no baggy. <laughs> right, you got to have something back there and yes. it got to fit right. Like, mm -hmm. it got to fit perfectly. So, you know, that time I was just staring at this person and he gave me that a natural high. Nothing mm. to do with drugs because I don't do drugs. I don't pop no pills, <laughs> shit, no lean, smoke no loud, ho. No mind. You know, no good golly, I ain't on the molly. <laughs> but yeah, so that with that guy, he just gave me a natural high, and it was like fuck me high, like mm. ooh. But so that's what. Look at yes, I feel. I've been there. You know, you have been there. Like, yeah. So that's that's mm -hmm. that's what the song was about. So it's just about somebody giving you a natural high, no drug induced. You know, very clean. You could have a sip of something, but they give you this natural high. So that brings us to the next question. <laughs> what are your turn offs? <coughs> I said this was the hot seat. Did I not? Okay. <laughs> well, of course, the way a guy, like I said, the way a guy wears his jeans, mm -hmm. um, turn ons. Like this mm -hmm. might be embarrassing, but uh -oh. if a guy is like, like a turn or a turn on, like when he wears his jeans, like if you kind of don't see a. <clears throat> Go ahead, girl. A print? There's nothing <laughs> blocking. There's no filter on this show. Okay. There's no filter. Okay, if we are not rated anything. This is no filters. If you don't kind of see a print, mm -hmm. that, if I see a print, I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> and then, you know, just so, the way a guy carries himself overall like i don't like the dudes what up ma mm. what's good i don't like that you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like the guys that just present carry themselves very like a gentleman, yeah, like a gentleman. Mm -hmm. that's a, that's like the biggest turn on like yes. a gentleman you know like there are guys who still open and close doors yes. for girls. you just can't they, they in the mountains somewhere like living with the apes and we all spoke that. about this <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about this amongst our panel on the show. Yeah. We're like, what happened to the traditional gentleman? There are still guys who do who do that. Mm. You know, but they are probably really hard to find mm. or whatever. But yeah, just the, the way a guy is overall, you know. You could tell, like, a player from a real dude. And that's a big turn on, like, a real yeah. man. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that you will be willing <laughs> to settle down with a guy if he's the right one? I would be. You would be? Yeah, because being in a relationship, it's nice. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was in a relationship, you have that, that's, it's like your best friend. It's not even, mm -hmm. it's two different things from having a girlfriend. This guy is your best friend. So yeah, I would, that that's like the a best feeling, to like really be in love and to have somebody look out for you and you look out for them. It's nobody's using each other. It's just that that person is everything to you. Like, it's amazing. Because I see a lot of people in love. I'm like, <laughs> I be She's hating. Like, I hate I'm them. a hater. <laughs> She's been a hater on the high hater. Show. Hater. Word. <laughs> Word. I be hating. Like, oh, I hate man. seeing people in love because oh. I feel like. I, Where's mine? What, right. What's up with me? Like, what's wrong? But you know what? I sat down a lot of times and thought, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm attracting the wrong guys. Mm. And maybe something I'm what doing. What kind of guys you attract? I feel like I'm always got that rapid type dude. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I need to attract that that GQ type of dude, mm -hmm. the nicely dressed, the G, you know, that that takes care of himself. Maybe that kind. Maybe we gotta I'm gonna take you to Wall Street. Yes, <laughs> we gotta take you to Wall Street. Oh, to I find think the I, guys. Oh, I think I'm trying to go uh, Vanilla Ice. Oh, like the one in the video. <laughs> What's your name again? What's his name? Tony. Tony. <laughs> I can't Tony. pronounce his last name though. David Gilo. My bad. He's gonna. Kill you know who you are. Yes, Tony. Yeah, I'm date. trying to either that Asian persuasion oh, or yes. that or that that vanilla ice. There are some that vanilla really chocolate. cute Asian guys out there. I have very. I have Asian is like my mm -hmm. thing. Like, Especially the Asian and black dudes. Oh my god! Ooh. Like the eyes are just very. Ooh. Ladies, you know what we're talking about. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? For some reason, why do black men like seem to get angry when we they say? Do. White, but it's not our fault. Well, they're the same way. Men do it too. I know, right? Men and do I think it. chicks be we be looking at them like I know. <laughs> Why is he there with Why that he chick? With that white yeah. girl? <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> and then this one was like they do it like they do it to Spike. so like no so that you see it like they mm. want to be seen yes. like with that girl I'm oh like, they do oh, my they do. sister actually married a, a white guy really mm -hmm. he's a sweetheart to her like that's how mm. I know like I Ooh, think I, you know what I mean mm. yeah you know there's nothing wrong with this world <laughs> what? you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> love is exactly. everywhere right I was just talking about that the other day with uh, Tamara you remember from the yeah, sister's sister yeah and her husband is white and they're the cutest couple ever exactly I don't yeah exactly but the other one yeah the other one the is the other one a is married guy. to a black guy yeah um, but Tamara has a husband who's white mm -hmm. you never know yeah she seems like she's the happiest little right? Oreo yeah you know <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> no, I didn't I say love it. Those two girls. <laughs> they're or little Oreos. Oh you know? yes, yeah. they're cute Oreos. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. So, what advice would you give to women, young women up and coming, or who want to be in the industry? Um, to like you know like one, I think that a lot of people like because of the you know the grind and stuff, they will give up. So my number one advice is to never give up. No matter what you go through, no matter who you bump into, you're gonna bump into some sleazy ass mofos. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you have to stay true to yourself. And um, you know, if you want this, you will get it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like I, I feel like I could say that because I, you know, I wanted it so bad, and I reached a certain point that only in my dreams that I, you know, thought exactly. I'd ever reach that point. So I feel like if you stay true to yourself and, you know, and continue, never give up. Like mm -hmm. if you give up, you weren't in it to win it. Like so, I think that's the biggest advice: just to stay in it and just like mm -hmm. stay focused. And what, where can our uh, viewers and our readers check you out? Um, DevonRose.com is Devin Rose. Um, <laughs> D-E-V-Y, D-E-V-Y-N-R-O-S-E.com. That's, mm -hmm. you could find everything, my social networking, pictures, everything, music, whatever you want. Yes, and don't forget, she's also on Instagram and Twitter. I, I am, am Devin, Devin Rose. Rose. This is WMDSF Magazine. It's signing out. Just blow it all I'm like there's no tomorrow Seeing girl, I've always had a dream I believe I'd succeed with this voice that God gave me I struggle work day and night, went to school full time While I fantasize about making you